I've made several videos about being emotionally smothered by a parent, but today I'm going to zoom in specifically on mother-daughter emotional incest. recap, emotional incest applies to a parent emotionally taking over a child for their own benefit. And it can happen in varieties of ways, various relationships, but that underlying dynamic is always there. It's about the parent's needs, not helping the child grow up in a healthy, self-loving way. So I've had many comments left under my videos. Will you please focus on mother-daughter relationships? So let's take a closer look at that. The difference with girls is they typically will spend more time with their mother growing up and many want to emulate their mother. The mother is the role model. I want to be just like mommy when I get older. So if you have an emotionally dysfunctional mother, which is what we're talking about here, she may want to recreate in this little girl what she didn't have, what she went through or didn't go through. Again, she's making it be about her, the mother, not about just shaping and molding the little daughter in a healthy way. So the mother already, without perhaps even knowing it, has an agenda. This daughter, in a way, is now attached to the mother's own ego. The daughter is reminding her of herself. So through a bit of manipulation, they want the daughter to become their idealized self, but what the daughter is learning inside and probably doesn't have the words for this is that I'm not good enough. The real me here doesn't matter. I just need to be what mommy wants me to be, which often is the idealized version of the mother. This mother may tend to her daughter's physical needs because after all, the daughter is a reflection of her. So she wants her to look a certain way. Probably you gotta be pretty. So maybe some makeup training. Here, let's do your hair this way. Better wear these clothes. She's good at molding the daughter physically perhaps. But what the daughter is really craving is the emotional connection. There's nothing really there and the daughter knows it. She doesn't have the words for it, but she's feeling on some level, I'm just a thing. Mother's dressing me up like a doll, but there's no real love there. Kids are not dumb. They can feel the lack of real authentic love. These mothers now, especially as the daughter gets older, is trying to live their life vicariously through their own daughter. They have so much in common. They're both women now. They're little girls now in adolescence. She's gone through puberty. She's filled out. Now the mom may be even more invested. She's giving the daughter messages, either subtly or not so subtle, that you better have a boyfriend that reminds me of the kind of boys I liked. You better be interested in these hobbies. I used to love art when I was your age. Here, here, let's buy you a lot of art supplies. She's turning the daughter into a mini me, into a mini her. And that's very emotionally damaging to this daughter. And also if the daughter does happen to be bright and friendly and attractive, let's say sexually attractive, now the mother's created something that she's jealous of. So now the daughter's feeling that envy. In a way, the mother's created a monster. Look at what she's getting. I didn't have that when I was her age. I'm going to get her back. So then you can have this weird competition or jealousy going on from the mother to the daughter because the mother created this, right? And now she can't believe that the daughter is getting what I was denied. So then perhaps to regain control, she may become even more emotionally smothering in terms of invading the daughter's privacy, reading her private journal, going into her emails on her laptop. So you have this ongoing power struggle going on and particularly with a boyfriend, if the daughter starts dating, the mother may be flirting with that boyfriend, either consciously or unconsciously and more than likely consciously. Because remember, there's a competition with her daughter. So as I've mentioned in other videos about emotional incest, that daughter, when she realizes at some point in her life, hopefully, how she is a victim of emotional incest, how she has been traumatized by her own mother, hopefully she'll get in some therapy to unthread all this. Because without examining this, the daughter will just carry it all through her adult life and feeling perhaps a sense of competition. And I don't know why I hate my mother so much, but I hate her. And so we want to examine what this hate is all about, what the competition did to her the underlying reasons for the mother's emotional smothering, how it really greatly impacted the daughter and get to that shame we have to really look at and help this daughter, now an adult, work with the shame. Because remember, she was taught there's something wrong with me, but of course there's really nothing wrong with her at all. But when your own mother is showing you, teaching you, telling you that you have to be like me, not you, then that automatically is going to create shame in that child. There must be something inherently wrong with me if my mother wants to change me so desperately. 
the daughter is really feeling like a burden to the world in a way, but also she learns that if I play mommy's game, if I act the way she wants, if I say things this way, behave this way, have a certain affect on my face, I get love from mommy. So you'll see that child learning in very deep ways that it's better to act phony, it's better to act fake and be inauthentic. That seems to get me places in life. Typically, the mother is narcissistic. She's making it be about her needs. That's a sign of narcissism. Well, when a child is brought into the world, they need to be nurtured and loved and feel psychologically safe. A little girl can't feel that way if the mother's making it be more about the mother's needs. The mothers are introduction to security, to feeling safe in this world, to being loved for ourselves, what we're about, not what the mother is all about. So there are some specifics about mother-daughter emotional incest. The main point Point revolves around the mother wanting to mold the girl into a version of herself and then compete with her on that version as the daughter gets older. It's all very sick and toxic and the more we shine a light on it and talk about it, the more we can get a handle on how much emotional damage this does to a child. So please leave me some comments below. Has this occurred in your life? Please feel free to subscribe to my mental health YouTube channel if you like these kind of videos. And until next week, this is Brian Shore signing off from Ask a Shrink.